Well, speaking of game leaks, game leaks. What about that Red Dead Redemption prequel? Whew. Red Dead Redemption 2, which is actually a prequel. Can't, can't wait. Really, Red Dead Revolver. You can't really go into the future. Right. Of the, you know. I mean, Red, the, West, the West has to. <laughs> Red Dead was already kind of point. about the end of the cowboy and the end of that era. Yeah. So they <laughs> kind of had no choice but to go earlier. Uh, yeah, this week uh, a map, uh, an artist supposedly working on the game posted a map for the game online. You yeah. think he got in big trouble? Maybe he's not even working on the game Busted. anymore. Maybe he was just like a contractor. And, I, didn't get to, I didn't get a good look at the map. Mm. I'm kind of uh, trying to withhold a... One of the interesting things about the map is there's lots of water on yeah. the map, which would suggest maybe you're traversing water, maybe you're getting in a boat, getting well, in a raft and going down a river. You got, you got Assassin's a Creed 4, Cowboy Edition. Yeah? There we go. Yeah, I mean, Red Dead was so, so good. Just one of those revelatory, like, I think expectations for it were high because it was Rockstar, although it was a separate team from the GTA team. But still, you know, San Diego has an incredible reputation. I don't think has ever made a bad game. Um, but it, it, you know, unlike Batman, that's a game that had very high expectations and even exceeded them. And I also think Red Dead's interesting because that game came out, everybody loved it, but I feel like it's one of those rare games that its esteem has grown over yeah, time. I think. I think at launch, people are like, yeah, this is really good. And then at the end of the generation, people are kind of surprised Probably to find, like, the best game yeah, of the this generation. is one of the best games I, of the generation. I cannot think of a video game I'm more excited to hear announced than a second Red Dead. Yeah. Uh, I, I absolutely adored just about everything about that game, even the slower parts that frustrated some people. I actually kind of, they fit the tone of a spaghetti western in a way I really enjoyed. That was a game where I, I went and I went, it's like, man, I'd love if there were a Lamont revolver in this game. And there was a Lamont revolver. I'm an Old West like junkie. I'm just like, somebody dug and cared and they understood Sergio Leone and they understood history and they understood good storytelling and, and melodrama and they just wrapped it all up. It, it is a... Marvelous experience. Also it had really good, uh, really good expansion. One of the best expansions. Yeah. Oh, Undead Zombie? Nightmare. Undead yeah. Nightmare. Probably it's so good, and the they released it as a standalone game too, yeah. because it's just like it modifies that map so much. It's really the only DLC. I think that's the best DLC I've ever played. It very well could be. I think it was also like ten bucks too, or maybe twenty. But either way, I mean, it was a steal for what you got. Um, and lined up for the. Halloween season, we, really cool. Yeah, I mean, and again, with Zolverium, the game's not even been announced, but if that is what San Diego's been working on all this time, this game is also many, many years coming. You yeah. know, a giant, massive, crazy, talented team allowed to work on something for years and years and years. Like, yeah, that definitely sends like hype levels through the roof. I, 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 uh, I wandered around, I remember, just playing playing poker for days. Just, just yeah. because you could. I didn't need to, but it was so much fun. Such an immersive game. Wait for the 4K version. Hog tie a nun and put her on the railroad tracks. The you know, version. I never actually did yeah. that. You get an achievement for it. Yeah, I know, but I didn't care about achievements, mm -hmm. and I was I was a good guy. Rockstar does not generally attend E3, so I wonder I wonder when this game would could be announced. Yeah. yeah. You know what I really like? Just side note: treasure maps in that game. Yeah. Yeah. How oh, yeah. Uh, showed yeah. you just a drawing and it's no a, other. It was clues. A, there were puzzles, yeah. And it was like you would you just keep them all in your brain. You'd be like, okay, there is a rock formation somewhere with mm -hmm. like a hangman's noose. Yeah. And like, am I ever gonna find? And you did eventually find them. Yeah. It was really neat. Also, so cool. lots of cougars jumped on you. Yeah. 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 That did happen. Yeah. Bigfoot. Just the one Bigfoot though. One of the first games it turned out not to be Bigfoot. One of the first games <laughs> I know of that had the like the hunting and the like. Oh, butchering yeah. like mm -hmm. aspect yeah, of that scratch, animation, scratch. like they do that all the time in like Far Cry now, but with like and the one video line that he yeah. would just say, oh. <laughs> oh, the blood splatters on the screen. That was like yeah. the first time. I and it's different desert environments were <clears throat> handled really well. I'm, I'm from the Southwest, and uh, mm -hmm. there's several different types of desert. And uh, the one I would just had moved out here uh, when that game came out uh, to California, and I really missed the Sonoran Desert when I saw mm -hmm. it, like the saguaro cactus and stuff. And, Mexican desert looked really different across the Rio Grande. Yeah. It was like very white and with like uh, different types of cactus. I just love probably that. probably the best skybox in clouds in oh, games. Oh man, hmm. yeah. And then there's like the Monument Valley area, which is just gorgeous. Guys, we just really love Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> I want that to get a remake. If it's a prequel. You think you're like a young John Marston, or maybe nah. maybe you're just a different character. I think you got to be a different character because John <coughs> Marston was a bad guy. Well, there's so many well, different. Yeah, there's so bad many guy, guy with a he uh, eventually he had a. Yeah, but he, heart. I know, no, 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 but that's so what he wasn't Red Dead all bad. But before Redemption, he was just a bandit. I think you're oh. going to be a lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a possibility. Yeah, westerns have kind of subgenres, and the they, old west was not a great place for women. The rumor is uh, that you're half Native American. Oh, that'd mm. be interesting. There you uh, go. Work out. Yeah. So let's wonder which tribe. You could be a, a, a tough Native American lady. <laughs> you could. There was a, a who's the Annie Oakley? Oh, there was Annie Oakley. Yeah, there, uh, there, there are many prominent women in the west. You're right. You're right. Yeah. 
Annie Oakley could, uh, th people say she could shoot like the pips out of a playing card with a handgun. Like just an absolutely amazing shot. You need to say that like John Marston. <laughs> yeah, so. People say she could shoot the pips <laughs> out of a it. playing card. And then, <laughs> Calamity Jane, the hero of the plane, uh, <clears throat> other people like that. Yeah. Bring me Javier Escuela. <laughs> <laughs> what a great character that was. Oh, Marston's so funny. Yeah. He's just so grizzled and crappy looking. He's really good. <laughs>